Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. I am happy to share with you facts about Dicreosaurus, a small diplodocoid sauropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Tanzania during the late Jurassic. The first fossil was described by paleontologist Werner Janins in 1914. Dicreosaurus was rather small compared to other sauropods, but was still slightly larger than Amargosaurus, which is till now the only known member of its group. Unlike most diplodocoids, Dicreosaurus had a very large head with a rather short and wide neck. The neck had 12 unusually short vertebrae, so it could probably browse vegetation only from ground level to a height of around 10 feet or 3 meters. It also lacked the whiplash tail that other diplodocids had. It was smaller at only up to 39 feet or 12 meters long. The source of its name, meaning two forked lizard, is the spines that came from the vertebrae. They weren't straight as in some members of its family. Each one was Y-shaped like a fork. The spines also provided muscle attachment points. It sported a double row of spines down its back, which are similar to those seen on the back of Amargosaurus. We cannot be completely sure what these spines were used for, but it's possible that they were present for visual identification. In other words, they were used for Dicreosaurus to distinguish and recognize others of its own species. Additionally, they may have been a method of defense to make it harder for taller theropods to bite down onto the back. Another possible function may have been the support for a sail, yet we are currently uncertain as to the exact and scientifically evidenced functions. Dicreosaurus lived in the late Jurassic. It was herbivorous, nonetheless it didn't compete with other dinosaurs for vegetation. Fossils have been discovered in the rocks of Tendaguru Hill in Tanzania. The rocks also yield the fossils of Giraffatite and Kentrosaurus. As there was a distinct difference in size between these creatures, they would probably have browsed for vegetation at different levels, allowing them to coexist without significant competition. Dicreosaurus would have shared its habitat with the Brachiosaurid Giraffa Titan and the Stegosaurid Kendrosaurus, fossils which are known from the area. Each one of these would have fulfilled a particular niche as we mentioned, so that they didn't starve each other of food, and similar systems can be seen in other parts of the world like in Western North America with the presence of Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, and Brachiosaurus, all in the same ecosystem at the end of the Jurassic. Dicreosaurus means double forked lizard. It comes from the Greek word dikreos, meaning bifurcated or double headed, and soros meaning lizard. It was named for the spines on the back of the neck. It was named by Werner Janens in 1914. Dicreosaurus belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Cordata the clay dinosauria and saurischia, the suborder sauropoda morpha, the clay sauropoda, eusauropoda, neosauropoda, the family dicreosauridae, the subfamily dicreosauridae, the genus dicreosaurus, and the type species dicreosaurus hansomani, which is quite a complex classification. The following cladogram follows analysis by Sereno et al. in 2007. Species include the type Dicreosaurus hansomani and Dicreosaurus satleri. It was a herbivore. It was roughly 39 feet or 12 meters long, and it has been found in Tanzania, in estuary and bay environments, as well as marginal marine and alluvial fan environments. Fossils have been found dating back to the late Jurassic, 155.7 to 145.5 million years ago. And fossil representation includes remains for the identification of two species, with 19 different specimens found by a paleontologist. Thank you for watching! I'm slowly tackling the more popular prehistoric creatures, and I'm very excited to make documentaries on legendary prehistoric beasts and dinosaurs like Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a lot of other cool dinosaurs. I have also modified the thumbnail of the fact-based video to a Dinosaurs on Earth or Prehistoric Beast shorts so that it can be clearly defined and it looks a lot better aesthetically. As always, this is Enchiridion, see you next time.